The crisis in Gaza is now in its 11th day. Israeli tanks are closing in on Palestinian cities and its civilian casualties are mounting. CBS News correspondent Richard Roth is in the Gaza border. Richard, good morning. Good morning, Russ. Well, Israel is pushing deeper now toward Gaza's population centers. The UN this morning says an Israeli airstrike killed three Palestinians at a school just outside a refugee camp where people had been seeking shelter. On both sides now, the cost is rising. There was heavy fighting overnight in northern Gaza, but Israel said three of its soldiers were apparently killed by a shell from one of their own tanks. Another Israeli was killed in a separate incident of so-called friendly fire early this morning. In all, Israel says it's lost five soldiers since the fighting began and claims about 130 Hamas militants have been killed. Palestinian civilian casualties are in the hundreds. Inside Gaza, the International Committee of the Red Cross now says with the heightened fighting overnight, the situation has become a full-blown humanitarian crisis. But Hamas rockets are still falling here in Israel, several just this morning, including one that slightly wounded a three-month-old infant. And three others have landed here just this morning in open fields of this Israeli border community just about half a mile from Gaza. Russ? Richard Roth on the Gaza border. Thank you very much.